So to start, you look down a microscope and see this, toxic granulation. But something seems off about it. Here's regular toxic granulation. The granules are different sizes and look like they are thrown on. Here's what we have on this slide. The granules seem too consistent. If you scan around, you realize that the neutrophils are all or mostly mature. Also, the granules are in cells they shouldn't be in. This is a normal eosinophil, and this is what we have. This is a normal monocyte, and this is what this patient's monocyte looks like. Here's a normal basophil, and this is the patient's. Though, when you look closely, it isn't too dissimilar. So to summarize, we have granulation that looks like toxic granulation, but too consistent looking. Plus, there isn't the associated left shift of the neutrophils or other toxic changes such as vacuolation or doly bodies. And the granulation appears in cells it shouldn't. What we have here is Alder Riley anomaly, which is a rare inherited disorder. The characteristic granulations are called Riley bodies, which are partially digested mucopolysaccharides. The cells tend to function normally though. They can be found in otherwise healthy individuals, but it can be associated with our mucopolysaccharidosis, also known as MPS. These disorders include Hurler syndrome. Now you know about Alder Riley anomaly. Subscribe to stay in the loop about future videos and tell me in the comment section if you like this format. Thank you for watching. Until next time.